All right, today I'm going to show you how to change the spacing between two microphones of a stereo track virtually. To do this, I have already created two sample files to try it out with. So the version of this of Audacity here I have is 1.3.12. So, and it's a beta version. It's not available for Macintosh, I got to tell you that. <laughs> and I don't think it's available for Linux either so but anyway that's the version I'm using so you may have to tweak the instructions a little bit for your older versions if you use an older one but it's pretty much the same so first one we're going to start with if the microphones are spread out too far and you want to bring them closer together now this one's really exaggerated on this file here so in reality it probably won't be that way so, all you do is you take the track and we're going to duplicate it into another track. So now on this one right here, we're going to split it to a, mo to a mono track. And we're going to put this one down here, swap them basically. On this top one, we go here and click Make Stereo Track. So we have this... So we have this stereo track swapped, and we have this original one. Just for knowing which one's which, I'm going to put this one up here. Okay, now, this is the one that they're swapped on. Now, I'm going to turn the volume down on this one just a little bit. And the, more, the less this volume is, the more spread apart the real one's going to be. So if I have it just a little bit down, it will... Uh, almost completely take out the spread. In fact, if it's right in the middle, it'll be just a mono track. Or rather say stereo, but centered audio. So I'm going to put it, say, like right... Since this is really exaggerated, I'm going to put it right here at... here, 6, minus 6 dB. And let's see how that sounds real quick. sounds pretty good. Now I'm going to mute this track out and we'll see what the original one is like. Much better. Much better with it let with these two together. Now the last step is to mix these two tracks down using the mix down audio well zero mix and render and now it's one track now sometimes it'll be too loud and you'll have clipping going on for that just go under effect amplify and see there is some clipping going on here it's negative 2.3 so I'm gonna go for that and uh it may be too quiet now. Well, anyway, that's how you do it. And then, of course, you would export it under export or export selection if you just want a piece of it. That's how you do if they're too far apart. Now, on to the next one. We're going to do if they're too close together. So I'm going to close this one out. And I'm going to open up my second file. Stereo, too close together. So now they're too close together in this example. They're almost mono, but not quite. So let's see here. Let's see what we can do with this one. Well this one's a little bit trickier. You have to use the inverter effect to do this one properly. So let's, again we're going to copy this one and create a new track and put into the new track here. And now we're going to split this one to mono. The difference is we're going to take this bottom track right here, which is the right channel, and we're going to invert it. So I'm going to invert this, and then this track and the one directly above it, the left channel, we're just going to mix those together as one mono track. Now this gives us the difference between the two. Now we're going to duplicate this track this time it's mono, so we just need an audio track. Okay, 
and I'm going to make those two into a stereo track, but before, actually before that, the right channel would cancel out if we just made this a stereo track right now. So what we have to do is we have to invert this one so that the right channel gets boosted a little bit, but the left channel gets subtracted. So to do that, we do, again, effect invert. I didn't see it do anything, but it, it probably did. Yeah, I did do it. Okay, so now we're going to make this into a stereo track. Now, the louder we make this one, this is backwards from the other one, so the louder we make this one, the more spread out it's going to be. The quieter it is, the less spread out it's going to be. In fact, if we make it completely zero, it'll just be where it was before. Like, if we just mute this out, it'll just be original. <laughs> so, let's see here. Let's adjust this. Let's make this... Uh, I'm going to make this plus, plus 10. And we'll try that. Okay, now I'll see what the original one was like. Big improvement. And then again, you just mix these two down once you got it adjusted, and then export it. So that's all. That's all I want to show you. And uh, I'll I'll post the uh, I'll submit the uh, rest of this little beat, original and non-original, of both types after the video. And we'll see you on the tube. Don't forget to subscribe.